I'd like to start this video with two sentences and I ask you to pause the video and try to translate them. Sentence A Mike hasn't come to his work since the last week. He must have a serious problem. Sentence B Mike must have a physical therapy. Two months from now, the doctor said. Many of you translated the word must into yajib. Regardless of the content or the sentence it is in or it is part of. The problem here is because that many of you think that the word must is used only to express necessity. Must is used also to express logical conclusion. So in sentence A, Mike has never been late or careless about his job. So when he is absent for a week, there must be something wrong with him. Okay, so we translate the word must in sentence A into la budde. Okay, while in the second sentence, sentence B, the doctor is speaking seriously and Mike has no choices. He must have a physical therapy, otherwise he will suffer to move or to practice his daily routine. So you see, must is used for logical conclusion. When it is used for logical conclusion, it is translated into la budde. And when it is used to express necessity, we translate it into yajib. This point is very important, so please pay more attention. The first use, I mean logical conclusion, is allowed only for present and past tense. We took an example for present, and if you want to talk about past logical conclusion, you use the structure must, have, and past participle. So you say, Mike must have had a serious problem. But what if you want to talk about logical conclusion in the future? Can you use must? Of course not. So, the word should is used in the future and it is translated into la budde. Let's take this example. The cure for COVID-19 should be available by the following weeks. Government have been in race to produce it. I hope you could understand what I wanted to communicate with you. Thank you for watching.